The emergence of Web 3.0 stimulates innovation and science. So what is decentralized science? Let's find out. Watch till the end to see some surprising ways it's used. You're on the Jelvix channel. Tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. So what is DSI? DSI, or Decentralized Science, is the newest Web 3.0 potentially revolutionary movement that seeks to leverage technological applications like blockchain and Web 3 to solve major scientific research issues. How does traditional science benefit from DSI? Science is not keeping up with the demands of the modern world, because the mechanisms that have guided scientific research for centuries no longer provide all the necessary achievements. Decentralized science can help address these challenges by providing more diverse funding sources, easier access to data and methods, and incentives for reproducibility. By the way, do you support decentralized everything trend? Drop a comment. Are Ethereum and DeSci connected? A decentralized science system will require robust security and a rich ecosystem for application development. Ethereum provides everything needed for building a decentralized science stack. By the way, if you want to know how Ethereum smart contracts work, check out the article we've prepared. The link is in the description. Now let's overview the decentralized science use cases. Publishing. The publication of scientific information is problematic because it's managed by publishers who rely on the free labor of scientists, reviewers, and editors to produce articles but then charge exorbitant fees for publication. This leaves a critical gap for accessible research and data with a built-in legitimacy mechanism and incentive model. Tools for creating such a system exist in Web3. Funding. The current scientific standard model supposes scientists to submit written applications to a funding agency. A small group of trustees evaluates applications. This results in many years of waiting between applying for and receiving a grant, and is highly vulnerable to prejudice, self-interest, and review committee politics. Web3 can break this broken funding model by experimenting with different incentive models developed by the DAO and Web3 in general. Intellectual property ownership and development. It's a huge issue in mainstream science. From being stuck in universities, or not being in biotechnology, to notoriously challenging to value. However, owning digital assets such as scientific data or articles is something Web3 does exceptionally well using NFTs. Reproducibility and replicability Web3's new tools can ensure that reproducibility and replicability are at the heart of discovery. Web3 offers the ability to create attestations for each analysis component, raw data, computing engine, and application results. The beauty of consensus systems is that when a trusted network is created to support these components, each network member can be held accountable for replaying calculations and verifying each result. Data storage, access, and architecture. Scientific data can be made much more accessible with Web3 templates, and distributed storage allows research to survive disasters. The starting point must be a system that can be accessed by any decentralized identity with appropriate verifiable credentials. As you can see, decentralized science is a fresh trend trying out new technological tools to revolutionize science. But before DSI can be successful, its tools need mainstream adoption in the day-to-day -day activities of scientists. In your opinion, how soon will decentralized science become an integral part of the scholars' lives? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel, and don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.